I grew up here. I love Rhode Island, but Rhode Island can do better than it's doing right now. It seems to me that in any number of ways, we need to get our act together as a state. One of the primary reasons I'm running is because there's not enough opportunity in Rhode Island, and we need to make that happen. I tend to be an optimist. I believe that we can have positive change. I also think that you have to go in there and, and, and fight frequently for the things that you believe. And there's no reason why that can't happen with any number of problems in Rhode Island. I support the bond question that will provide the funding to begin fixing our public schools. We should grow our economy by helping middle class Rhode Islanders instead of giving special deals to wealthy connected corporations. There should not be inequality for women in the workforce. Women who are doing equal work should get equal pay. We need to clean up Rhode Island and end the incessant corruption by strengthening our ethics laws. I'll fight to ban bump stocks and assault weapons and high capacity magazines. And I support increased funding for individuals living with developmental disabilities, veterans, senior citizens. How we treat our most vulnerable citizens is a reflection of who we are as a society. Nobody, when it comes to public life and public issues, has a monopoly on what's right, what's the best course of action. So you have to have wide discussion, discourse, agreement, disagreement, and eventually hammer out the solution to the problem. I will listen to the people in District 30, and I will get out into the neighborhoods, talk to people, and find out what their concerns are, and try my best to act upon them.